All right. So let's do this the way that our teacher would be proud of, and then we'll jump into a way that uh, is a little bit more test friendly. Uh, okay, so uh, the way that we want to solve this uh, in class and on the test as well, if this is what your instinct is, because remember, you want to just go for the points. Don't be thinking like, oh, what's the coolest way to get to the answer? Just get to the answer uh, as quickly as possible. Um, and sometimes, though, your approach may not be the quickest. Your whatever you think of first is usually your best bet anyways. Okay, so uh, with that said, the way you solve this, the way uh, we're taught to do it in class is we rewrite this problem here and what we ultimately end up doing is we rationalize these denominators uh, and what that means is that we're going to ju let's just look at the denominator for a second so let's get this uh, out of the way here <laughs> I'm having a tough time keeping up so let's just zoom in here on our and let's just pretend that we're trying to we can't add these together because the denominators aren't the same. Well, how do we make the denominators the same? Well, what you can do is you can multiply each of these denominators by what the other denominator is. So now that they're the same exact thing, but remember, whatever you do to the bottom, we have to do to the top, so that way you're still multiplying by one and not ultimately changing the value of what we have here. And so uh, what we see is that we'd have uh, x squared plus 2x plus 3x plus 6 and that's in our denominator that's our new denominator for this and then 1 times anything is just itself and then plus here and then we know that since we're multiplying by the same thing the denominator is going to still be the same x squared plus, well, this comes together to become 5x, so 5x plus 6, I might as well just change that now here, plus 5x, and then the numerator would become x plus 2, and then uh, our uh, new numerator would be 2x plus 5, which is great, that's what we see in some of these answers, and then our denominator uh, is just going to be this one term here. Remember, when you're adding fractions, you just keep one denominator. You just make sure you have to just make sure they're the same, which now that they are, plus five x plus six. Now, is this our answer? It's not. Remember, this is just the denominator, and it's over. It's underneath one. So to color code this and make it a little bit easier, we can actually recognize that this is one being divided. Sorry about that little mark there. This is one being divided by this fraction. So one divided by 2x plus 5 over x squared plus 5x plus 6. And which means that if you're really wanting to solve this, it's 1 times the reciprocal of that. Huh, bam, bam. Hacky, hacker life. Oh, whoa. Well, all right, I'm already messing up. I got, I got too excited here. <laughs> then that would be here. And this would be our answer. Uh, anything times 1 is just itself. So it ends up being this right here. And that is the answer of B. Now, that's a lot of steps. This is a good way to go about it. Really, it is. Um, I don't want you to doubt it. But let's say that we wanted to maybe go tad hair faster and we're willing to make some, uh, some uh, estimations here. The way we would go about that is they give us a value here. X has to be greater than 3. And the reason they say that is they don't want you to make that 0, right? Um, and then just making this whole equation um, uh, just not obtainable. Uh, and so, because you can't have a denominator of zero. But let's what, let, that means that we can plug in our own value for x as long as it's greater than three, and the easiest number to think of is four, because this is even and this is odd, so it's not like, it doesn't really matter if you choose an odd or an even number, because you're gonna have to face the music at one point. So then we just have one over, and let's just say x equals four. Then we have one over six plus one over seven, and uh, let's see that that's seven times six, that's uh, 42. And so you have one, five, and what we see is that we're dividing one by a small number here, just like, because we're dealing with fractions here. What we can see is that uh, we, we, we wanna have uh, a value that's gonna be easy to work with. Uh, so we can just say uh, one plus six, so that it's essentially two over six. Let's just say it's two over six, which is uh, one divided by one third. So one is essentially going to equal about three. Um, uh, this, this is all going to turn into three. 
And so our answer more or less has to be three when we plug in X for four. Well, we can see that C is too big. This is way too big. And the problem with A is that we would end up having a smaller number with six plus five. Um, so that is 11 over uh, nine plus uh, 15 plus six. I can already see that it's a big, small number being divided by a bigger number, which is gonna give us a value less than one. So it can't be A. So here's a good case where plugging in actually kind of works out for our favor and that we can actually guesstimate on that.